What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. What we're going to be doing today guys is a Ruiner Randomer style um, uh, episode. Essentially taking the team that we built in yesterday's episode into the DKT round one. <coughs> Hopefully we don't get embarrassed in round one. Um, I've still got all 16 attempts. We've got until obviously Friday... Uh, Friday morning to try and win this card. I don't want to leave it too late, so I would like to win it today, if at all possible. The only change I made from the team yesterday was I put Costa back in for Roberto Firmino. Um, hopefully you'll see why as the game plays on. I'm going to be alright with fitness like this for now. We're going to leave this for now. And what we're going to talk about in today's episode, guys, is going to be... Uh, by the way, some things have started selling. I've nearly got rid of every single thing that I had. Ramos there sold for 15k. A Ganso sold last night for 18k. I cleared it by mistake. Uh, the Jimenezes have all gone. Um, so yeah, we are we are at a point where nearly all the all the trade pile and stuff is gone. We're up at 1.8 million coins. We're in a real good spot. But yeah, today, guys, what we are going to talk about is the new FIFA 18 icon kind of theme. The new, the new, the new, the new, the new news. The new news on icons. And we're going to have a look at um, essentially what this could mean. For FIFA in FIFA 18 going forwards, talk about the different players that we could see or, or have in the game, and uh, anything like that. So the first opponent we come up against, or the opponent for the day, if, if I get a really early rage quit, and I'm not saying I, I will or I deserve to or anything, but if I do get a really early rage quit, I will just uh, play another game. Uh, this guy's a 183 team, a really generic Premier League team, quite a cheap team these days as well. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, take advantage of that with our five at the back. Super team. So icons were obviously released by EA, or news of icons was released. Uh, Chris, not Cristiano Ronaldo, R9 Ronaldo, Ronaldo Nazario was um, put, put up as the poster boy of the icons for EA, which means there is going to be a Ronaldo next year. Um, I made a video on my main channel talking about uh, just the breaking news, but obviously we've had a lot of time and a lot of discussion since, and uh, there's been a lot of theories about what this means for legends. Some people ask, are we going to have legends and icons on um, on Xbox or is it just going to be icons on Xbox? Are, you know, are, what, what is the difference there? Um, if I remember correctly, it was Chewboy that tweeted yesterday that um, there will be no more legends. The deal that EA had with legends... Oh, I don't even have Ebra in this team. God damn it, I was... I was, doing, I was showing some people some stuff on stream yesterday and I took Ibra out of the team. I don't even have him on the team. That's my bad, dudes. That's my bad. Um, that's a beautiful goal from Lukaku. Uh, yeah, that, um, e Tuber tweeted that EA had a four-year deal with Microsoft for Legends that runs out this year. I assume they, they had the rights to the term Legends, as in Microsoft did. And so that's why now they're called icons instead of legends. I also have another theory behind why they could potentially be called icons and, and not necessarily legends. Um, oh, look at Son there. Go on, lad. Go on, lad. Oh, unlucky. Um, yeah, I, I have a few theories. But, but bottom line is, through piecing all the information together from people that used to work for EA, like obviously Tubo used to be the community manager for EA Sports uh, and the comms manager as well, I think. So, you know, it's, it's not like his, his word is just as good as anyone's, he actually knows what he's talking about. He was there working for EA during the time that Legends were introduced into the game. So he, he knows, he knows a little more than most. So the fact that he tweeted, hey, you know, this has, um, this has a, uh, this has a um, four year deal. He knows what he's talking about. So I think it's safe to assume um, that, go on Deli Ali. Oh, look at that, who's this, Stindall? That should be two. Beautiful finish from Stindall. I think it's safe to assume that um, it, it will be no more legends in the game. Maybe not forever, but at least for the term of the Icon deal. If there is a deal at all, or if this is just EA's thing that they're putting into the game now. Um, that's quite interesting to me. So legends will be no more. It will now be Icons only. And what's also interesting and sparked a fair bit of conversation was the fact that Icons are on all three consoles. Uh, sorry, not all three consoles. That'd be, that'd be great if there was a brand new console nobody knew about. Could you imagine waking up in a universe where all of a sudden there were three consoles and you're just like, wait, where did this, where did this one come from? Um, anyway, that doesn't, that doesn't make any difference. Um, so uh, all three platforms is the word I'm looking for. So Xbox, PlayStation and 
uh, PC will have icons. Uh, what this means is there is potential, and I don't necessarily think that this is going to be the case, but there is definitely potential for cross-market um, or cross-platform markets or even cross-platform games. Uh, you know, now that both... both um, I think he's going to be gone. We'll play another game here. I'll put Ibra into the next team as well. <coughs> um, now that uh, now that everyone's going to have the same players, there's going to be always the same items on the market. So, you know, it's very potential. Very, very, there is a possibility. And I don't think it would happen next year. And I, I personally don't necessarily think it would happen. But there was just a lot of rumours about it. Uh, that, there, you know, we could see finally shared markets across the consoles. Uh, which would have uh, obviously an impact on the way the, uh, the the game works and also cross-platform gameplay, which I don't think will happen just based off of things like regionals. Uh, you know, the fact that there are there's an Xbox division and a PlayStation division. Uh, I don't think EA would switch that out. Um, I don't think that that's going to come. One of the things that I would likely see first, or, or you know, not not expect to see, but just one of the things that I'd likely see first. Wow, this guy's got a really nice team. Um, is maybe. Xbox and PC playing against each other um, just because it's both Microsoft like there's just a, a, a higher opportunity in my opinion for that to happen um, <clears throat> So icons are going to be across all three uh, They're named icons because I think that EA, EA can't use the term legends on Xbox That's why I believe that they're named icons, but I think the term icon is, is pretty good I also think the card looks very good um, What's this guy switching to? <clears throat> Let's have a sip of coffee real quick. This um, this could be, so he's gone to a four one two one two. This could be us out as well, dudes. This could be us out of the uh, out of the tournament here. So this would be a good test for the five at the back. This guy's obviously got a real good team. He knows what he's doing. Hence the formation change. Uh, so it'd be a real nice uh, a real nice test of this five back formation for me here. I don't mind if I lose either. I know this is DKT and it's not um, you know DKT is not always the hardest opponents. But um, I'm, I'm experimenting right now, so I don't mind, uh, you know, taking a loss at all. Um, so anyway, we have icons. Icons are in the game. I don't have a chem style on Zlatan. That's pretty disappointing. Oh, he was waiting for that. I got lucky. Um, yeah, and uh, I think they're called icons, as I say, because it can't, can't be called legends. But uh, I like the term icon, and I like the card. It, like, it honestly reminds me of like a team of the year card or something, you know? It has that kind of blue feel. Like you guys saw uh, the Ronaldo card. It's, it's like a blue card. It looks real, real nice. Uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed the look of it. And I think it's going to be nice early on in FIFA potentially getting that blue flair. Now, one thing that I'm intrigued for, and one thing that uh, I, I, would, I would like to hear more information from from EA, and we probably will get more information as time goes on, is the sort of rating of these icons. And the reason why I talk about that is because uh, for example, you had Ronaldo, he was in the Real Madrid shirt, and I think that that could be nothing, it could be just absolutely nothing, but it could be really important to the the way that, go on Stindall, oh, I should have, I should have done better with that. Um, yeah, it could be really important to the way that these icons are interpreted, because he was in that, uh, oh, Son, Son, still got it? He was in that Real Madrid shirt, and so my thought, one one of the things that I like, kind of popped into my mind was, does this now mean that he's a club icon? Is that you know, it doesn't say the term club icon, but is is that what it means? You know, it might be just reading into something that's just not there. You know, this might be me just taking too much. EA might have just thrown him in a Real Madrid shirt because that's the image that they had of him. I, you know, I, I don't know, but um. It could be a club icon, or an, an, you know, it could be Ronaldo, that R9 Ronaldo from his time at Real Madrid. So would that card then reflect his time at Real Madrid or would it reflect his best point in his career, which I don't know, what would you, would you say that arguably his, his best time in his career was at Barcelona? I don't know, maybe. Um, but bottom line is he's in a Real Madrid shirt. So I wonder, on the actual like image for the icons thing, um, he has a like a FIFA Ultimate Team badge, not a Real Madrid badge on the card. So you could then say, okay, maybe maybe there is nothing in that whole Real Madrid theory thing that I've just picked up there. Go on, Ibra. Debut goal, lads. <sighs> Put it just wide. Um, yeah, there could be nothing on that. You know, it could be it could be me just reading into it. But if they are attributed to a club, 
how awesome would that be? Maybe they get links to everyone like legends do, but also they get strong links to the club that they're the icon of. So for example, we could see a Thierry Henry icon card that would get a soft link to everybody, just like a legend would, um, a hard link to Frenchmen, and obviously then hard link to Arsenal players. Now, how awesome would that be? I think that'd be pretty damn awesome. Go on, Ibra, that's got to be a goal. Oh, big, big save from Neuer. Um, I think that'd be pretty awesome. And that opens up the possibility, again, of, of us potentially seeing, uh, you know, something that I asked for, not asked for, as if, like, you know, EA owe me, owe me something or anything at all. But one thing that I mentioned in FIFA 15 and FIFA 16 was how cool would it be if we had bronze and silver legends? You know, guys that are, like, club legends, that aren't necessarily legends of the sport in a like uh, a sense of like setting the world on fire but are legends in the sense of you know they've just been at the same club for their whole career you know some you know they've done like amazing things throughout their career with the lower league clubs those sort of things i would love to see some like bronze and silver legends in that instance and i wonder if these club icons are a way for ea to be able to introduce that into the game because what they could do now is they, they could just put a bronze a bronze icon you know what I mean a bronze icon so a guy that might have been a I don't know Hartlepool for his whole his whole career now all of a sudden he gets an icon card Ibra oh man Ibra's missed a few really really easy chances Deli Ali oh man I'm putting the heat on this guy right now um, so that's definitely something to consider um, that we, we could see, the, you know, that sort of thing as well. Um, but in, interesting enough is, I wonder if this is now going to open up a whole world of players, or, go on, Ibra, win that back. There we go. Oh, oh God. See how fake shot I did? I tried to do a pass, but I already pressed shoot to tackle. But, um, yeah, if it's going to open up a whole world of players, because there are so many icons that we can have... In, in the game because there are just so many icons, you know, on, like off the top of my head, you've got like Henri, uh, Zidane, David Beckham, Rivaldo, Ronaldinho, uh, Raul, um, Alessandro Del Piero, of course, like the legends that we already have as, as well. Um, you could even see players like Totti, for example, because he's, uh, you know, he, he's, he's just, I don't know if he's retiring this season uh, or if he's just ending at Roma, but I think he's retiring this season. Like, you know, there, there's so much scope for the, uh, the amount of players that you could have that it could be a case where there are a lot of very, very good players in the game at the start of FIFA 17. It could be a case, and I think this would be a mistake if they did this, where they do it like they did with Legends initially and released one Legend per month for 12 months on top of the base, you know, the base amount of Legends. I don't think EA should do that. I don't think that would benefit the game at all. Um, but it would be a worry that if there are lots of club icons, or sorry, if there are lots of icons, I keep calling them club icons because I've got that in my mind. If there are lots of icons um, at the start of the game, does it... Does it imbalance the game early on? You know, does it make those that can afford to buy the FIFA points and so on and so forth? Does it give them like just a huge advantage that you wouldn't necessarily want people to have that early on in the game? Oh man, I had a real good chance there. <clears throat> um, so I don't know. You know, there's a lot to talk about. Uh, but what I'd like you guys to do in the comment section is put in there um, what what icons you would like to see in the game and for what reason. You know, uh, obviously some people are just it's obvious why you'd want to see someone in the game. Um, you know, David Beckham, just a, a pioneer of the sport, really. You know, absolute monster in... Uh, this has got to be a goal here, surely. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How have I not scored against this guy? Um, yeah, you know, David Beckham, just a, a big, big, big part of football in, you know, in, over the last sort of 20 years. Uh, definitely in my lifetime, anyway. In my, you know, my time of, of watching the sport. Um, I'm really struggling to get the space here. Damn, this guy's getting frustrated there. Right, half-time, uh, nil-nil still, dudes. I do like this formation. Um, I haven't necessarily played too much with it. Obviously, it's still technically the first game. That first game was an early rage quit. But uh, <clears throat> it seems to be very, very strong defensively. As you, as a, as you, you know, could potentially imagine with a five at the back. I've dominated possession. I've dominated passing. I've had good shots from good areas. I, I feel like a, a couple. I, I thought one of those Ebra shots was going to find the back of the net, and it didn't, which was a little bit unfortunate. But hopefully, over the second half, we'll be able to get that goal that will send us through uh, into the semi-final. But uh, yeah, be interesting to see who you guys think the club icons would uh, would be, uh, or, or oh, club icons, not club icons. They're just called icons. Who you think the icons would be? Um, I th I think 
you know, it, it as well, like, are they going to be legend-esque ratings? You know, are we going to see, like, a 94 Thierry Henry? Oh, God. This is his first uh, proper chance. Uh, yeah, are we going to see, like, a 94-rated Thierry Henry or a 93-rated Thierry Henry? Or are we going to see an 88-rated Thierry Henry? Uh, you know, are we going to see SBCs for, for these icons? Because that would be pretty damn awesome. Imagine that, you know, to every, once a month. And I, I can imagine, like, from what EA have done this this year in FIFA, that we won't end up getting SBCs for these icons, but instead we'll end up getting SBCs for lone icons, which will be pretty terrible. Um, but you never know. They might do, you know, a very special uh, icon edition of an SBC, which would be phenomenal. Penref! Yes! Come on! Seamus the aimless destroyer. Finally, we get a, a good opportunity to break through. Uh, we'll give it to Zlatan, the big man. I guess he's got 99 penalties. He has indeed. Go on, lad. Step up to the plate. Pop that in. I can't score. I just can't score. I cannot get the ball in the back of the net right now, guys. How is that a goal kick? How is that a goal kick? Oh. I, I'm, I'm, I feel like this, is, this team is playing really, really well. It's just my, my shot choices have just obviously not been the best. Ibra! Last! There we go. I would be a little bit upset if I was this guy because of the way his keeper dived. Look at what Neuer does. He just kind of falls down. What are you doing, Neuer? I don't care. I scored. I'll take it. 1-0. Zlatan Ibrahimovic scores on his debut. Should have been in the last game. He was injured. But guys, he was injured. He, he got injured in, in, in training. And that's why. Um, right, don't let this guy score straight away. There we go. They're nice, man. And, and again, the fi this five at the back. You, you know what's crazy? For those of you that have watched me for many years, not even just on RTGs, but just in general that have watched me for many years, you'll know that in FIFA 15... Like, around this time of the year, actually, I switched to five at the back. And I went about three months of FIFA 15. Okay, there was no competitive FIFA. There was no draft. Um, it was just uh, literally just divisions. But I went through about three months of FIFA in divisions, losing only about four games out of three months. And that's because I switched to five at the back. I remember the team. I had Bale and Ronaldo. Um, I think I might have uh, Robin as well was one of my players. I had a Bundesliga, La Liga hybrid. I had Luka Modric. Um, damn, he was really foul ref. He was really clean with the skill moves. Um, yeah, I had Luka Modric, uh, Aturo Vidal. Um, I can't remember who the right back was, but I had such a sick team. And uh, let's give it to Zlatan. Hmm. Let's do that. And then Ibra. Big save from Neuer again. And, uh, yeah, I went a long way without losing with that, you know, or I, I went on, like, some mad win streaks with the, um, with the five at the back formation. That's got to be too... Oh, who is that? I don't know who that is, but you've let me down there. And now, I wonder if that's because even as early as FIFA 15, one of my biggest problems was the fact that I was a horrendous defender. And if that were the case, then I'm still a horrendous defender... So why has it taken me so long to go to a formation that gives me an extra centre back? Because I've, you know, I've shown a lot over time that uh, scoring is not my issue. I can score no problem at all. Uh, you know, although this game, saying that, I've, I've really found it difficult to hit the back of the net. But generally speaking, um, scoring has been one of my strong points. You know, my attacking play has always been one of my creative points. I used to be a skiller back in the day. For those that don't know. Um, Penref. Uh, yeah, I used to be a skiller back in the day. So, I've, you know, I've always found the creative ways to score, but defending's always been the, the ultimate issue. But I feel like with five at the back, with that extra defender, may, maybe, like, kind of like, why has it taken me this long to try it? You know, I've, I've known that defending is my issue for so long. And I'm not saying that, you know, uh, two wins in the DKT is enough to say, oh, yeah, look at that, you're, you're all of a sudden the best player in world football. I'm not suggesting that at all, you know. Maybe I haven't come up against a, a strong enough opponent. This is only the second round of the DKT. This guy's got a real nice team, and he's got Ruddy as well, uh, which means he's, he's capable of winning this. He is a foot champs player. He has qualified for foot champs before. That is an absolute certainty. Um, but... Uh, 
who knows, maybe the extra defender will stop me from conceding those counter-attacks. You know, it, that could be, that could be a, a true scenario. Right, let's make some subs. So Costa's well tired. Oh, I didn't even put, oh, I didn't even put more subs on anyway. Let's bring on Raja. Let's bring on uh, Fernando Torres for Ibrahimovic. And let's take off, uh, let's put Son into the midfield. And we'll get ourselves Lukaku or Hazard. Let's put Lukaku up front. So we'll put another big man up front with Fernando Torres. Torres, by the way, is, is good in this game. Obviously, we got his premium SBC. He cost me, I think, about 800,000 coins. Haven't really used him that much, considering how many coins I spent on him. But I do like him. And maybe when the La Liga team of the season comes out, we might get lucky in those uh, team of the season or those upgrade packs. And who knows? Might be a scenario where... Uh, Go on, go on, lad. Is that is that no foul, ref? We've got ten minutes left on the go on, Torres. Uh, yeah, it might be a scenario where we end up packing someone big that we can actually link with Torres, and then use him anyway. Um, so th there's still a lot of you know a lot of scope to change this team, as you would have heard in the video yesterday. You know, we we've got a long way a long way to go on this account yet. Yeah, a lot to do. Um, hey, that's not a foul. He clearly won the ball. Doesn't matter. I got it back anyway. I thought I think that guy felt bad for me that he uh, falsely got the possession there. But it just seems like, look, look at my defence, man. Like, as you guys know, one of my biggest faults is getting caught on the counter a lot. And so when I, when I have heavy possession, that's when I usually get caught on the counter. Because, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm so heavily, um, I have so much of the ball. As soon as I lose it in a bad area, which doesn't take me long, um, I, I, you know, the two passes later, someone's in behind. But this game, every single time I've lost the ball, I, I think he only got in behind one time with Marco Royce right at the start of this half. Everything else, I've, I've felt very, very comfortable defending. That's not quite where I aimed it. But look, again, a, a bad pass, mistake mopped up because I've got an extra defender. I don't know, boys. Like, this might be, this might be just me kind of gassing myself a little bit because I'm winning in the DKT with a formation I've never used before. But this feels, this, you know, this guy's got a very, very good team. You cannot deny that. He's got a lot of te Bundes team of the seasons. He's got a lot of very, uh, very awesome players. I, I don't know if, you know, I don't know if this is, uh, oh, that Lukaku is through there. Yeah, I don't know if this is, this might be the, the real deal here, dudes. Oh, oh, Lukaku, please. Stindle wins that. Oh, let's go with Son. Hyung Min Son. Surely this is two. Oh, it deflects off a piss check. Quite a boring game for goals in this one, dudes. Um... But uh, definitely a, a very good game in terms of just figuring out the team and stuff. That's got to be a goal for Raja there. Oh, he's put it wide. That was, oh, he actually took a deflection. Fair enough. I thought he just missed that shot there. Even if I concede possession here now, surely I'm not going to uh, concede a goal. I'd be very upset if I did. Oh, there's Keane. Keane into Romelu. How many say That wasn't the best choice, the best shot choice, but how many saves is this goalkeeper going to make, really? Henrif, come on, ref. Full time there, guys. I don't know how many shots I had. I had a lot of shots. I played really well in that game. I felt really competent on the ball. Courtois making the three saves. Nine for his Neuer. Let's have a look at the passes. Yeah, I mean, look at that mid. Look at Costa. Twenty-five out of twenty-seven. Ibra did good. Deli Ali did good. Son Stindle great. Coleman got really involved. And Aldorrell. Plattenhart not so much. Um, tackles one. I, like the defenders don't even need to make tackles because I didn't like he didn't really have the ball in a in a area that required it. Now I had 19 shots and 14 on target, it's only from too too long range. I really should have put a few more balls in the back of the net there. But for once, his counters led to nothing. You know, dominant possession from me, a lot of shots, a lot of good pass accuracy. Who knows, guys? Maybe the 5-3-2 is my calling. We will find out more throughout the uh, the, the weekend league. Because I, I might try and D1, you know, play against some really solid opponents and uh, and have a look if it's good enough or not. But this, guys, is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.